What's the most important environmental technology on Earth today? Is it solar panels, wind turbines? No, it's precision fermentation. Precision what? Well, this is a refined form of brewing and we can use it to produce all the protein and fat we need. The protein and fat we now get from animal farming, from soybeans, from palm oil and the rest, but with a tiny fraction of the land footprint, a tiny fraction of the water footprint, the energy footprint, the nutrient footprint, all the rest of it absolutely minimized. And what we do is to brew bacteria in vats and they produce our protein and fat. Bacteria, I don't want to eat bacteria. I hear this all the time and it sounds horrific, doesn't it? But let's imagine it was the other way around. Let's imagine we were already doing that and that's where our protein and fat came from. And someone like me came along and said, I've got a better idea. Let's eat animals instead. Ugh, animals? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's great. Listen, we, we just have to domesticate a few. I mean, I've got some great candidates. There's a wild cow, a wild boar, a wild sheep, a wild goat, a wild jungle fowl. You know, we domesticate them, we, we breed them to radically alter their characteristics. And then you can absolutely pack them into barns. I mean, loads and loads and loads, all in the same place, you know, and grow them really quickly. And sure, I mean, it's not going to be very nice for them, there's sensory deprivation, boredom and the rest of it, but they're not going to live for very long. And, and then, then what we're going to do is we herd them into a different factory and we stun them and we cut their throats and we skin them or we pluck them and then we chop their flesh up into chunks and we eat that, yeah. And hey, we, you know, I've worked it out, we're only going to need to kill 75 billion a year. That's all, right? Okay. And then, even better, right, check this, we can take we, we can take this chemical from the fourth stomach of a calf, right, and mix it with milk from its own mother, right, until it becomes this sort of wobbly mass of fat and protein. And then we inoculate that with bacteria and the bacteria digest it until it becomes this sort of hard, yellow, stinky stuff made of the excrements of those bacteria. Really, you can love this. I mean, it's, it's so tasty. We, we'll call it cheese, right? Okay, and yeah, okay, it's going to take quite a lot of the world's surface, you know, 30 plus percent to keep all these animals. Uh, we, we'll enclose some of it and kill all the large predators and exclude the wild herbivores and cut down the trees and, so they can all eat grass. Or we'll, we'll uh, uh, other parts of it, we'll grow crops, yeah. And we'll feed them with grain. And yeah, we'll need pesticides and herbicides and the rest of it. And yeah, I know, all the shit will go down the rivers and poison them and it'll poison the sea and the minerals will run off the land, cause a huge amount of climate breakdown. I mean, it could bring the living planet to an end. Okay, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be delicious. You're gonna love it. I hope you would run this scoundrel out of town. <laughs>